Hey YouTube, it's Firebird JP. I'm back again with another gas mask video. Now, um, this respirator I got is a little more interesting than all the other ones you've seen. I know you've seen some interesting respirators come from me, but this one's a little bit more interesting. So, uh, mask I got for you today was made by uh, Mind Safety Appliances, so you know it's from the good old US of A, and it was made in the 80s, and it was made for uh, aircraft pilots, so got some fun for you guys, so uh, let's get right to the mask, shall we? Alright, here we have the U.S. Army Field Protective Mask Aircraft M24. Got some fun stuff, so let's get right to it. Let's take a look at some markings on top of the mask. Got U.S. Medium. Now, a very, very obvious factor of this mask is that it's full face vision. Kind of. Um, yep, the uh, eye lens is made of plastic. Much like the MCU 2 slash P. Um, it would be full face vision, but you know, if you look, notice, there is a large uh, or nasal cup in there and it kind of defeats the purpose of having full face vision. But still pretty sweet. Got the hose. It's not made of rubber or anything. It's kind of like a. Kind of like the material made out of the bag. A little stiff, but. I'm guessing that was what it was made for. It's really high quality though. We got the uh, XL valve, which I have been told this is the uh, C15 XL valve in here. Swing around over here. We got the uh, M10A1 filter. It's also got a little carrying satchel kind of thing for it. I believe this is called the M1 carrying satchel thingamajigger. Got the haversack. Pretty sweet. It's very similar to the uh, M40 haversack, so I could see where the M40 haversack uh, design kind of was inspired by this one. Swing around to the back. We got a uh, nice little head harness system. I actually like the way this one works. Straps adjust very easily and it's very comfy. But on top here, it says C15. So I'm guessing this is also a C15 uh, head harness. Now, some of you may notice this little thing. This is a wire. And this is a microphone wire. Let's see if I can get some good quality of it. No, not really. Alright, this will do. Yep, this plugs in to the helicopter and it's microphone. That's what it does. Now, this thing here, too. I was very shocked I got one of these. You know this? These are uh, a tinted absurd. Goes right over the mask like that. I'll install that and show you guys that later. This mask is very similar to the uh, M25 in almost every single way. Except for the microphone wire has different uh, input made for tank operators. And the filter is not an M10A1 filter. I'm not sure what kind of filter it is, but it's uh, exceptionally, uh, exceptionally larger than this one. Now this mask is also very similar to the uh, M14 or the M15. Not sure, it's one of those two. But uh, the M15 and the M14 don't have the large inner nasal cup and it actually does provide full face vision. Um, look here. There are these little rivets on both sides. That is where the uh, the uh, outsert fits on. And there's some markings on the mask. I suppose I could show you. Right here. Focus is in. Alright, we got 1986 MSA. So this mask was made in 86 by Mind Safety Appliances. Overall, very nice quality. Very happy with this purchase. So, uh, Let's uh, throw the tinted outsert on and uh, show you the inside of the mask and then let's throw this bad boy on. 
All right, we got the uh, tits and outsert installed on this bad boy. From the uh, outside, looks like it's just completely black. It's almost kind of mysterious looking. It's actually kind of sweet. But like all outserts, it's very subtle. It's not too dark. So thought this was pretty sweet. The outsert's a little dirty. Could use this uh, stand of cleaning, but I'm too lazy to clean it right now because I was very excited to get this video done and over with. I want to show you guys really badly, so uh... Alright, let's show the inside of the mask a little bit. Alright, here's the internal view of the M24. There's the large or nasal cup in there. Got some valves in there. There is the uh, voice diaphragm, which is a microphone. Awesome condition. The inside is pretty simple, that's pretty much all there is to it, but it's still still pretty freaking sweet in my opinion, so uh, I suppose I can show you what it looks like with the outsert. I'm going to look right through the outsert, show you how subtle it is, it's not overwhelming, it's, it's pretty clear, pretty subtle. Notice in there, it's tinted from that to that. So, it's pretty cool, much like a pair of sunglasses. Alright, time to put this mask on and uh, wrap this video up. Alright, now it's time to put the M24 on. So, let's get right to it. Ignore my phone! I can't really speak that well, since there, you know, there's no fucking microphone. But you can still hear me pretty well. So uh, I guess that's alright. It's alright, I'm putting the mask off. Talk about it a little bit more. Okay, um, the M24 is surprisingly one of the, uh, actually one of the cooler respirators I own. It's, a uh, it's an interesting design. I really like the way it was designed. I like the whole... All oh, this was used for aircraft and all that thing, all that jazz. I think it's pretty fucking sweet. Um, the uh, my only uh, problem with the mask is, is that the little rivets for uh, installing the outsert. It might be mine in particular. Um, one slides really easily. One doesn't slide at all. So um, the one that slides really easily, I actually lost for a couple days, and I was kind of paranoid because I'm like, how the fuck am I gonna get another one of these? So. Uh, I actually found it, I was actually able to actually do this video, that's why it took me so long to actually do this video, because I couldn't find this rivet, and I was very scared. I was never going to see it again, but I got it. So, um, yep, that's the M24, it came with the, uh, the mask, the outsert, haversack, and all that stuff. And I got that on eBay for uh, $35, yeah, it was uh, $25 and... $10 shipping, so that was pretty sweet. Um, now, the story about this mask is uh, I saw it on eBay and I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll put a bid on it. And uh, I totally forgot about it. And uh, I was at work and my phone went off and it was like, you won the M24 gas mask. And I'm like, oh fuck, I completely forgot about that. So I'm actually very happy that I got it for pretty cheap. I've seen uh, an M24. Just like this one, same condition on eBay. I think it had the chemical protection hood though. Yeah, it had the uh, chemical protection hood and it went for like $100 when someone bought it. I was like, fuck, it's a lot of money. So I um, got mine for stupid cheap. Wish I had the chemical protection hood, but if I come across one, I'm buying it, completing my kit. So uh, that's all I got for you right now, YouTube. So uh, peace out, keep collecting, and uh, have a good one, guys. See ya.